Are you quarantined? Feeling a little sorry for yourself? Let's check out this historical reenactment of 16th century Korea where they also had the plague, but this time they desired for human flesh. Let's watch the kingdom. The Kingdom is a documentary about a famous 16th century chosen dynasty where we have the death of a king, the prince who should have thrown, and we have the evil Haewon chosen clan. Now, since most Korean names are very hard for me to pronounce, I will just be referring to them as titles. Okay, so we have season one. What the heck happened? Well, the king died, or at least the prince suspects the king died. But the new queen, who was a young hottie, which was totally common for old men to have young hot brides, because it's there the king, she would not let the prince see his father. Now, the queen's father also had a scheme and would not let the prince see his father because he wanted his daughter, the queen, to give birth to a son, totally assured, so that their clan could take over the kingdom. Simple, right? Well, the problem is the king died early. And in order to stop the prince from becoming the prince, the state counselor, who is the father of the queen, he decides to have a physician reanimate the corpse of the king as a zombie. Therefore, people would say he's alive and the prince could not become the king. Totally makes sense, right? We've heard this one a million times. So from there, it's a whole, well, things get foobarred pretty quick. You have a physician whose assistant gets eaten and they take his body back to a village. He becomes a zombie. The whole village becomes zombified except for the hot, hot assistant doctor, Sobi. I will refer to her by name because she, of course, makes delicious tea. And the tea company is named after her. So Sobi, she eventually makes it out and she's going to the capital looking for help. At that point, the prince... And his bodyguard, now this bodyguard is being forced to help the queen, but the prince and his bodyguard, they go south. They want to know, uh, they want to escape first so that he's not murdered, so that he's not uh, accused of crimes and whatnot. And they end up fighting this zombie plague. So we end up season one where they are waiting for this big battle in a town. Now, zombies in general will come out at night, but they are dormant during the day. We later find out this is because the zombies really hate the heat. I don't know what happens to zombies in summer. I just assume they die or something. But at least in the winter and the spring, they come out at night, dormant during the day. They hide from the sun as not to get tans. And then... During the coldest part of the year, they come out during the day. So that's what happens. They find out, whoops, they can come out during the day just as their fort is being attacked. Uh, the fort is lost, and they are forced to retreat to these stone-walled, uh, I guess they'd also be forts or checkpoints, I don't know what you want to call them, that block off certain mountain passes, block off access to different parts of the kingdom. And that's where we start in season two. It's a question of can they protect it? And then eventually many stupid decisions are made. Uh, they run, they go, and the prince ends up back in the capital. He then decapitates his zombie papa. The queen, well, she miscarried. So she steals the baby, and it ends up being that it's the baby of the bodyguard to the prince. Although the bodyguard to the prince keeps 
betraying the prince in order to save his wife and kid. Very simple, right? Totally not complex. So super nurse Sobi, uh, she discovers that water will kill worms that are causing the infection that makes people zombies. So it's a big gambit. Um, the prince and his buddies, they take over the capital, take over the palace. They capture the queen. She lets out a horde of zombies that they had been... Uh, for whatever reason, I think it was uh, for warriors or maybe to do experiments or something. They had all these zombies in cages in the dungeons. She lets them out. They destroy the royal palace, which ends up being kind of cool because any political opponents are now dead. And they end up killing all the zombies by drowning them in a pond. Way to go, guys. Way to go. Now that the enemies have all been destroyed, it's time for the prince to become the king, right? Oh, hell no. The prince, he is way too honorable. He is way too concerned about his people. And he knows that this baby that the queen was claiming to be hers would be held up as the rightful heir by a lot of political opponents in other provinces. So what does he do? He, well, kind of abdicates. They have this story where he died, even though he's totally wandering the countryside. And this child is allowed to grow up and be the king. Well, this seems nice. Uh, now this, I have to mention, this child was bitten by zombies, but was quickly soaked in water. Therefore, he should be cured, right? Well, maybe not. In the last episode, we start to see worms crawl out of his wounds. So it's a question of will he turn into a zombie or will he become some sort of madman? Or will he be a traditional zombie? A traditional zombie wasn't necessarily someone who had died and come back to life and craved human flesh. They were people who were ensorcelled. You could say they were under the control of some sort of a magician, some sort of a voodoo priest. Maybe we're going to see something a little bit more like that. But getting back to the prince, he and Sobi, who he has totally never hit on, which makes me think maybe the prince is gay. I don't know. Or maybe he's too honorable to think of his loins. It's hard to say. Sobi is hanging out. She wants to find a cure for the zombies now the zombies come from a plant a specific flower that grows in the mountains and on the under under side of this plant there are eggs and it's in those eggs that we have the worms which then come out and take over your mind which is actually a pretty cool reasoning for it as that 100 percent happens in nature it's amazing that the 16th century koreans could have figured that out they were so smart. So the prince and Sobi are wandering around and they found a bunch of flowers in other parts of Korea, meaning there's a good chance that this is going to happen again. Now, in addition, the villagers who are planting these flowers on purpose, they say that somebody's going around and telling them what the quote unquote resurrection flower does. It allows you to bring dead loved ones back to life. So, right, who wouldn't plant that flower? Well, it turns out they track the person down, and it's some kind of pirate-looking lady who has a bunch of zombies in boxes with their heads sticking out, and there's a bunch of, like, arms and legs on the floor. So who the heck knows what she's doing? And that, my friends is The Kingdom Season 2. Now, one of the great things about this show is that it's not like a typical Western show where every season gets reset. So in a Western show, we would have um, something like the prince goes to the palace and the zombies emerge 
And then the uh, queen's father's like, oh, we have to form a truce to fight the zombies. So they fight the zombies. And then the queen's father's like, ha ha, I betray you, prince. And the prince has to leave. And we're stuck right exactly where we were when we started this whole story. That gets frustrating. How many seasons can you do that? The great thing about the kingdom is, because it's based on history, this did not happen. We have the queen's dead. She poisoned her father. So they're all dead. And now we're on to something different, where the prince, should he have wanted it, could have taken the kingdom, but he chooses to go out and they want to find where this stuff is from. Now, one of the other interesting things is they reference the Japanese invasion of Korea, which is where these zombies first show up. The Koreans use them against the Japanese. So it's interesting because they say, oh, well, this flower, the trader, comes from up north near the border of Korea and China. So that makes me wonder, are they going to have the Chinese involved too? That could be a very cool season three. All right. So for your plague watching while you are sequestered in your home, hoping, wondering if you'll have work the next week, come check out The Kingdom. It's an awesome movie. Well, it's not a movie. It's a show. Six episode show. So it's not that long. So if you like this video, Give it a thumbs up. Tell me, what do you think about the kingdom? Do we need more historical dramas like this or less? Leave your comment down below and subscribe for future episodes.